Are you ready to overhaul your Skyrim combat experience to the next level? Then check out this guide. We'll be going through user experience, game mechanics, combat animations and also how to make enemies more interesting. I have been modding Skyrim for two years now. My name is Coffee, and I hope to help you with this guide. So first of all, you'll want to get the basic requirements. Check them out on the screen right now. User experience. I use something called smooth cam and I also made my own presets. I can choose where I want my character to be. I put her far to the sides when I play the game, but with the X button I can change from left to right, and with the Alt button I can change the height slightly as well. Then I use engine fixes, and I put scrolling doesn't switch Poe to true, because then I don't accidentally enter first person mode. Here you also want disable turn animation, because otherwise you'll get that. True directional movement. What you want to think about here is whether you choose the vanilla direction where you will be backing backwards and you go backwards or the directional movement where you will walk towards the screen. Also go ahead and get true HUD. It's just one of those things that you really want. Enhance the blood textures. It's a really fun mod because you can add an add-on called Candy Gore and it will look like an Indian holy festival if you know what that is. You should also get these mods listed right here. So when it comes to audio, I just want to recommend audio overhaul for Skyrim. Then you overwrite whatever it is you need to overwrite with the Phoenix Compendium. And I installed most options. Then I also want to recommend PC head tracking to change player voice. Now let's go on over to the game mechanics. Disable cinematic kills is a really good mod to have. Also you want Valhalla combat. I have made a dedicated video guide for this mod so go check that one out. Precision is revolutionary as it will give weapons actual collision boxes instead of just making a massive attack box in front of your character. You should set the recoil to 4 though, and also get the precision trail replacer. Also get the mods listed right here. You are not a novice higher level start saved my Skyrim experience because I could not stand it to start at level 1 every time. Then you have Valkyrie Minimalistic Perks of Skyrim. You should try it out, basically it's like the vanilla perks but it adds some new fun things like a um, resurrection thing in the restoration tree and a lot of cool stuff that you should try out and then you could use Master of One, a double-edged perk overhaul that punishes your choices. And Andromeda. Health Foods. This mod makes food recover health over time.
same goes for Apothecary. Apothecary makes potions recover stats such as health, magic and stamina over time. This means that you can no longer open the menu and spam health potions because it will apply over time. You should also set poison resistance to true in the mod scrambled bugs. Now why don't I use the ultimate potion animation mod? Well it only works for Skyrim 1597 not for 16640 so Let's talk about new magic. The mod Mysticism is very close to vanilla, but it adds new spells that you can check out on the mod page. My favorite is the Ash spell that turns enemies into ash. Astral Magic 2 If you are a master at the arcane arts, you can use a spell called Astral Strike. Ultimate Shouts will update all of the shouts that are part of Vanilla and make them different. The full list is on the mod page. My favorite is the Verbal Wound Sprint. Then we have Projectile Sense. You will get the Spidey Sense. If you've seen the movies Spider-Man, you will know what that is. I use personal settings, so instead of having it trigger every one second, the projectile sense will trigger every 15 seconds. Then we have Summer Mist, Enchantments of Skyrim. Well, just check it out, it's really cool. Combat animations. Let's start with the dodging. I only installed dodge for player, but if you want for NPCs, you would have to cover that in a different video, so comment down below if you want that. I start with TK Dodge SE and then I get the RE updates for Anniversary Edition. I use the B button to dodge. Also, I get the smooth slip dodge animation because it enables 8-way dodging. Now, mortal enemies is also very important when it comes to dodging because it makes it so that enemies can only attack in a dedicated direction. They cannot aimbot you in the middle of an attack. Then we have poise stagger animations for vanilla. You don't actually need a poise mode, but you'll get the same animations nonetheless. I use Elden Rim Weapon Art because when you are hit three times by a light attack or two by a power attack, you'll stagger. And Faster Get Up Stand Up does just what it looks like. And you can get Get Up With Style if you like. Then we have the Look Cool Idols. It is important to look cool when you fight, in my opinion, so you should get the mods listed here. I also think that it's important to overhaul sprint, run and walk animation 
so I use Leviathan Fu. Fu too for that. <laughs> then we have better jumping. This will keep the momentum when you sprint, so you can get over obstacles. You should also get smooth random jump animation, which will make jumping look really cool. It will even react to sprint jumps and make different animations for it. Then we have the smooth weapon jump animations. Instead of looking like a buffoon or a gorilla when you jump holding your weapon, you'll look really cool. Of course we also have the dynamic whirlwind sprint. Bundle this together with Skyrim's paraglider and another mod called... Wait for it... air dash you can uh, do some pretty cool aerial maneuvers then we have weapon move sets this is the big part of combat modding. Everything we've done so far leads up to this. So my favorite is of course the anchor animations pack and it overhauls a lot of weapons so you just look at it all at once here. It also adds some new weapons inspired by Monster Hunter. MCO Imperium animation for player. I used this to overhaul the remaining stuff that Anchor didn't touch. One-handed access and maces. And then we have the unarmed moveset for MCO. This is my favorite unarmed moveset. MCO Katana. You don't actually need a katana equipped for this, but it just makes more sense if you do. Because Judgment Cut End is based on Devil May Cry. Then you have the Conqueror animation from For Honor, which makes mace and shield animations unique. Don't forget Bow Rapid Combo. And smooth bow animation, sniper stance. First person combat animations overhaul does not use MCO third person animations, but I really like it. So let's make enemies better, more diverse, and more unique. AI and skills. To overhaul the AI, I use Skyrim Revamped. It will even make it so that enemies can flee if they have low health. And farmers can be invisible. If you see there, a third one appeared from nowhere. And that is very common with Skyrim Revamped installed. We also have the new creature attack animation series and you should just get all of that. Recoil Redefined. When you have low stamina, you cannot do a combo against a shield because you'll bounce off. But if you do have a lot of stamina, and this goes for both player and enemy, you are able to do combos even against someone blocking you. Scar, Skyrim Combat's AI Revolution. It's used together with scar patched MCO Nordic animation for Nord and Orc. And of course, I also used the MCO Desert Race animation for Redguard and Khajiit. 
The author of these two mods made it so that different races use different packs, and that's a very immersive thing, and I love it. Then we have NPC Magic and Constant Spell Rebalance. This is a must-have mod for me. This is what it looks like when the mod is turned on. And this is the vanilla magic spam experience. I absolutely hate it. Just let me tell you that straight away. This guy shoots off lightning like 500 spells a minute or something. Like it's, it's insane. Then we have EEOS. New magic mods that you have installed will now be applied even to NPCs. And this is a big one. KS Dragon Overhaul 2. See how it's raining right now? Well, this guy just summoned a meteor storm. Not to mention that dragons can now use a lot of new melee attacks that will toss you away. world placement. What do we do when there's just too few enemies? We get hand placed enemies installed. With this mod you will get ambushed by uh, very many bandits. Way too many maybe, so if, if it's too much for you you can get a version without the ambushes. Then we have the Hogwui, a Draugr overhaul. It will give Draugr's new gear, new appearances, and new skills. Ruins Skyrim. This is a massive mod series that overhauls places like Carve Spire, Bleak Falls Barrow, and there's so many other places, the Standing Stones, Sarfall, you, you name it. Not only do the places look different, but many enemies are added to them as well. Briefly, let's talk about the weapons and armors. This is armors you've seen in the video, so if you'd like, go ahead and download those because they make the game more immersive and diversified. Reforging to the masses is a weapon expansion that will be distributed among NPCs, and when it comes to all of the other mods listed here, I love to wear those on my player character. Now please, don't forget to subscribe! Subscribe and click that notification bell. My dream is to get sponsorships one day. And I worked really hard in this video, so all interactions are appreciated. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this helped you. Bye bye.